Hey everyone, Ian here at Able Cine in Burbank with a quick tip today about how to use the Optitech adapter on the Sony F3, the F5, and F55 camera. The Optitech adapter allows us to go from the native mount on these cameras, known as a FZ mount, to the EF mount for Canon lenses. Now all these cameras are delivered in PL mounts, so there's actually a FZ to PL adapter on your camera uh, when it comes out of the box from the factory. So let's go through step by step and see how to uh, get the adapter on there and get it functioning. One quick note that I want to point out immediately is that when the Optitech adapter is used on these cameras, standing alone, that means without any wireless accessory accessories from Optitech, this device only enables the iris function on your lenses. There is an assumption uh, in some circles that this also will uh, activate autofocus in EF lenses. This is not the case. This is purely a device that allows us to use EF lenses on the Sony cameras and to adjust our iris. Let's go through the procedure of putting the Optitech adapter on. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the FZ mount or FZ adapter to PL adapter from Sony off of the camera. So I'm going to hold the uh, PL mount with my left hand. Right hand goes to these back lock wings and I turn it and I pull off my uh, FZ to PL adapter. And you're going to see at uh, 12 o'clock there is a registration pin. and at corresponds to a registration pin on the Optitech. So we're just going to swap those out, making sure that we register the pin at 12 o'clock. Once I have that done, now I can take my EF zoom lens here. I have a 24 to 105. I'm going to take the red dot here and I'm going to align that with the Optitech at 12 o'clock and I'm going to rotate it clockwise so that the red pin or the red button here uh, comes towards me, operator point of view. Once you have the lens seated and you've rotated it, you're going to feel a little bit of an indent occur or a registration take place. What's happening is on the EF lens, there is a little receptacle, and on the Optitech adapter, there is a little pin. Those two are finding each other and registering. It's important that you feel that registration process take place because what that is going to allow us to do now is ensure that the connections between the lens and the adapter for communication are uh, in line. So I'm going to take my red lockdown wing here and lock down the EF lens. I'm going to power up the camera. You'll know that the connections are proper when you look in the viewfinder. You'll see information regarding your uh, iris, your focus, and your zoom. Now it's important to note with this adapter, information about focal length is not carried through. Uh, the things that you will see in the viewfinder will be your focus and your stop. It's also important to note that you do not need to push the initialize button on the adapter for this process. This is done automatically between the adapter, the lens, and the camera. As long as you see information in that top left-hand corner of your viewfinder, the initialization process has taken place properly. Once we've confirmed that communication is there between the lens and the camera, the next step is to register or to uh, have the iris activated with the adapter. And to do that, the first thing we want to do is we're going to push up on the uh, iris button. Do it for one second and you're going to see all of a sudden that my image just got brighter uh, and that's because the lens was being used in a different uh, iris setting than what I just set. Now this is the main concept to really kind of get familiar with in order to uh, use this adapter. Every time you change lenses, every time you repower the camera up, you must go to the Optitech adapter and push on the up or the positive button for the iris for at least one second. What that does is it resets the iris all the way open and tells the Optitech where it is with the lens.
then you can go ahead and start setting your iris. So you can see now that I've set the lens to a T8. So I'm going to power down the camera and I'm going to power the camera back up and you're going to notice that there will be a discrepancy between what the viewfinder says in terms of the stop and what the stop on the lens actually is. So I've powered the uh, F5 back up and now you're going to notice that in the viewfinder it says T4 but as you recall I had iris down to T8. Well that lens is still at T8 uh, it, so what we have to do is we have to re-register uh, the position of the iris with the adapter. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to hit the up button or the plus button. That opens the iris back to T4. Now I can registered the adapter with the iris on the lens. And as you can see, now my iris has gone down to T95. The other functionality to be aware of on the adapter is that we can jump from all the way open to all the way closed in one step with this adapter. So for instance, I'm at T95 right now. What I want to open it back up to T4. I'm going to hit the plus button. And you see that my iris opened all the way. Now I'm going to hit the minus button. And you see it closed down to T22. So to summarize the functionality of the Optitech with the Sony F3, the F5, and F55, remember that anytime you change power on the camera or you change lenses, you must re-register the relationship of the iris on the lens to the Optitech itself. Therefore, you must always hit the positive button for at least one second to re-establish that relationship. Once that's done, the iris on the lens will open to its maximum aperture and it will be uh, communicated into the viewfinder. Now you can go ahead and set your iris. The other functionality to remember about is that once that relationship has been established, you can hit the minus button to close the lens all the way down or you can hit the positive button to open it all the way up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.